Signs of low coolant You are driving and suddenly you noticed an increase in the temperature gauge of your vehicle. This could be one of the many signs of low coolant in the car. In this video I will share with you 7 top no coolant in car symptoms or a low coolant in car symptoms. Before we go into explaining the function of coolant in the car do well to subscribe, like for more videos. What is the function of coolant in car? Basically, a coolant in car, is a gas or liquid, present in a car which helps regulate the temperature system of the car engine. The main purpose of a coolant is to absorb the excess heat produced from the car engine while running. While running your car engine, it is the work of the coolant keep circulating air and gas from the radiator to the car engine to keep the temperature balanced. Without a coolant, your car will definitely develop some serious engine problem and even when your car coolant is low. And so it important you are knowable about the signs of low coolant and no coolant in car symptoms to prevent serious engine problem. Signs of low coolant Can low coolant, cause a car to shake? The coolant system in a car is typically a closed loop and if there is an issue with the car head gasket, the coolant will automatically leak into the combustion chamber. You may have to check your exhaust to see if white fumes or smoke is emanating from it. It is possible for low or no coolant in engine to cause your car to shake. It could be a crack at the expansion tank or the vacuum top hose as this is susceptible to crack. When the pistons are performing the upward stroke it will push some of the engine oil, petrol and air through the gasket leak into your coolant. The car may be shaking because the engine is struggling to produce power due to the leaking coolant. Also, the coolant that has entered the combustion chamber cannot be compressed. This may cause brownish coolant to overflow from your radiator since it is a mixture of oil, petrol and coolant. Also, the air is being pushed into the radiator the accumulated pressure will be very high. It can be fatal to attempt removing the radiator cap at this point. It is not advisable to drive the car under this condition. Contact your mechanic, your car may spend up to a week or more with your mechanic. The engine will have to be overhauled for thorough cleanup. The radiator will have to be checked and also pressure test for leakages. The gasket head will have to be replaced. A leaking coolant may indicate the coolant is being forced out of the engine under pressure. The engine shaking may indicate they are out of balance. It may point to something that is bent inside the engine. Coolant leaking into one of the cylinders can cause bend up or break in one of the piston connecting rods. A car shaking during acceleration could be caused by various issues. It is advisable to have your mechanic look at the fault so as to avoid the condition deteriorating to a problem that may be more expensive to rectify. 7 Symptoms of No Coolant in the Car 1. Fuel Inefficiency High fuel consumption rate is one major symptom of no or low coolant in car. The engine is able to operate at best levels due to the cooling system of the engine. You discover that your fuel tends to burn faster thereby increasing consumption rate when you are having problems of low engine coolant. Low temperature will cause the fuel not to vaporize easily. This can lead to acceleration problems. 2. Leakages in pipes You have to check for leaking pipes if you suspect that you have low engine coolant problems. Simply stop the car and check underneath the hood, if your pipes are leaking, you will notice green or orange water droplets underneath the pipes. You can put a stop leak to your radiator in cases of severe leaks. Fix this issue by buying new radiator hose pipes. 3. Faulty Radiator Cap Another symptom of low coolant in car symptom is a faulty radiator cap. A faulty radiator cap can force the coolant to spill away, this can cause the engine to be very hot. When this happens, most of the coolant can turn into vapor. Note: Never open a radiator cap with a hot engine because the pressurized coolant can lead to severe burns. Ensure you wait until the engine cools down, then pour some cold water on the cap before opening it. You can easily replace radiator caps as they are inexpensive. 4. A faulty heater a heater that isn't functioning is also a sign of no coolant in engine. The heater of the car uses the same coolant that runs through the engine which are controlled by valves hence regulating the temperature. 5. An overflowing reservoir The overflow reservoir may indicate no coolant in engine of your car. So, check whether your overflow reservoir is above or below the fixed minimum and maximum points. This overflow reservoir has marks that determine when the coolant has expanded and needs to be expelled. 
When the engine becomes very hot, the coolant is vaporized and passes through a small tube. 6. An antifreeze smell. Antifreeze is a sweet smelling compound that is added with the coolant to stop the water in the radiator from freezing during cold seasons. So, if you suspect your cooling system is leaking, check if your engine is producing a sweet smell. 7. Rising temperature gauge. A main sign to indicate low or no coolant in engine is the increasing temperature gauge. Under normal circumstances, the temperature gauge on the dashboard will be below the halfway mark indicating the engine is being cooled. It may point to a problem when the gauge moves up and down. So, if your coolant level is low, check if there is a rise in the temperature gauge. If the problem still exists after water, then it means you have coolant leakage. So these are the top 7 symptoms to always look out for. And you also want to note that a no coolant in car symptoms will also show the same signs of low coolant. Therefore, it is important you take note of the coolant system of your car to preserve your engine damage. Be sure to share this video if you find the information here helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.